Hey yo, what are going my beautiful people? I'm coming at you with another tutorial. Yes, I. Now, remember, if this is your very first time tuning into my channel, do remember to go ahead and subscribe, subscribe, and remember to always hit the thumbs up button. This is how you help me out. This is how you support my channel. This is how you support everything that belongs to me. Yeah, man. <laughs> Anyways, now, I am going to go in details on how to strum reggae. I've always wanted to do a video like this. Um, I'm probably repeating myself, but yeah. This is the ultimate video. This is it. Grab your guitars. Let's go. Um, I've been waiting a while to do a video like this for you folks. Right. I've been waiting a while to do a video for, for you folks like this. Alright, I've done a tutorial on how to strum reggae. But I, I didn't go down in details, like right, full details on how, you know, to really get this done to acquire all this so um of course now my channel is at you know wherever it's at and I, I i i i'm now buying new gears so you know i have all the gears that will you know enable me to 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 do these stuff from different angles because the angle is very um angles are very very important so you guys can see exactly what's going on so now this video is about um how to strum reggae and i just want to take it to the basic right because i have we have some people having problems getting it that muted sound you know that let me get rid of this delay you know I'm, I'm, let me make it dry so you guys can hear everything you know what i mean some people will play Which of course, as you can hear right there, that it's not really reggae. Your intention is to play reggae, but that's not the song you're looking for, right? You're looking for a you know what I mean? So um again, I'm glad that I'm able to do this from this angle now, so you guys can get to see what this hand does, and you can also get to see what this hand does. All right, so we're going to be touching that, and we're going to be talking a little, little bit about the stock lines, also. But we're going to save the stock lines for last, right? So reggae, it's all about feel, right? Reggae is not about um, you go to the island and yeah, man, it's always a relaxing thing, or right? it's not all about um, taking trip to the islands and uh, palm trees and all that. And no. Reggae music is a very serious music, a very serious art form. Alright, and I need you all to understand this. Right? And so now, reggae is never on the upstroke. And it's always on the downbeat. Alright, so if you listen, you know, um, you will hear that. Right? So, it's never on the upstroke. Please do not do that. And even when some people do the upstroke, they're still getting that... So if you go on, on um, YouTube or anywhere, many different um, social sites or whatever, and you type in, you know, reggae music and reggae backing track, you're going to hear a lot of... Yeah, it's not that. It's, it's more like that. Now, so it's all about the control, right? It's all about stopping that sound it, it is it's, it's about stopping the on the cards from ringing out too much right so we have the one strike or the one skank if you want to call it also you got the double skank you know the guitar is a bit thick but that's okay we are we are we really dealing with um the 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 strumming today that's what we're concentrating on so it's not about the sound anymore right so let me take this off so now there are two ways of doing it right there are two ways of doing this so here is the 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 the, the first way i mean i wanted to pay attention while i strike we'll pay attention to this hand and not this hand this hand all right, so I'm going to do it 
the right way and I'm going to do it the wrong way because I need you all to um to, to be able to identify the wrong way also. Right? So here we go. So here is the wrong way. So pay attention to this hand, which is my left hand. Which is what a lot of people do. Right? For encouragement, let me use a little bit of um, backing track. Right? And we're strumming in the key of G. Alright, let's move to A. Right? Pay attention to this hand. Now, what am I doing wrong there? Right? Here's the right way. This is the right way. Pay attention to this hand, the left hand. Watch this. Right? So, what did I do right there? Right? It's obvious. When you squeeze and you hold it there, you hold the tension, you hold the pressure, then you're going to get... So, of course, you are going to have the, the, the card ringing out still. Right? So, I'm going to show you how to control it with this hand and also how to control it with this hand. Right? And, of course, you can double it up. You can use this hand and this hand to stop it. So, just to make, that's just to make sure that it stops. Right? So... So, of course, when I strike, so if I go, can you hear that? See that? So, you're going to get that sound. So, avoid doing that. Right? You are going to strike, see that? So, what I did right there, I squeeze. And then I release the pressure. But when I release the pressure, the fingers don't just come all the way up. Or up too much. It comes up just enough for the fingers to rest there to kill the sound. Alright? Right. See? So, it squeeze, release. But real fast. You're going to apply the pressure and release it almost instantly. Right? So, there you go with that. Cool? So, now, let's say you want to be able to stop it, like, really, really, to make sure that, yo, this is dead. Right? Now, you want to pay attention to this hand as I strike. Look what happens. Can you tell? Let's get a little bit closer. So what I did right there, when I strike, I come back almost instantly, real fast, to get the hands back here on the strings, right? So I can, so it's dead. So real fast with this hand, and also I come back here. I mean, if you're having problems getting back, it's okay, just make sure that this is going fast enough, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's play the backing track again and pay attention to everything. Here we go. Alright, but of course, a lot of guitarists, a lot of top guitarists, when they play reggae, they don't come back with this hand. So, if you want to play it my way, or the way that a lot of us play it, still you come back real quick. If you can't do that, just remember, make sure that this is coming back fast enough. So now, what, um, uh, some people do it like that. In a circular motion, circular. Some people... I keep that rhythm. You realize my hands, it bounces. 
All right, try not to swing too much with the That's too much pressure. You don't need that much pressure. All right, so So remember never squeeze long because if you go You are going to get that sound. So let's omit that. Let's get rid of that. Let's terminate that. When you're playing reggae, it's never, do not keep the fingers down. Squeeze, release as fast as possible with the fingers still there just to kill the sound. Right? So now for the double skank. Here's a double skank. same thing with this hand when I go down I keep this hand there squeeze this real fast when I come up it's the same thing squeeze fast and release so it's not a all right <laughs> I'm playing the track and I'm still doing it off <laughs> uh, I'm separating everything but yeah right so it's not the No, fast and release. Use his hand to to stop it there. All right, right way. Here's the right way now. Watch the left hand. That's what I'm doing right there. All right. I hope you go, you guys are following. Right. I, I know this is good. All right. It's not going to get any better than this. You are not going to find another tutorial that goes this deep on how to strum reggae. Cool. So again. Little darling, steer it up. Now you can add it. So when you slide, remember. It's common sense when you slide, you know you want to hear that. You want to keep it down. No. So you have to know when to keep it and when to release it. Alright? So, so. Alright? So of course there's upstroke in reggae. And then that is when you're adding your little slide. Depends on. Right? And um, when you're double skanking. It goes down and up, down, up, you know. Sometimes you're gonna. But in time, you will get all those little fills and stuff. All right. So let's move on to the stock line. All right. Let's talk about the stock line. The stock line is a B arm, is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. Again, a stock line is a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. Right. So 95% of the time, you are going to be playing exactly what the bass is playing, just in a higher register. Cool. So. So, right? How did I get that sound? How did I get it to sound so mellow? And, but at the same time, it, it's not ringing out. 
because a lot of people are going to play like this. Mine is different. How did I get that? It's very simple. No, it's the palm, right? But you have to find the right place on the guitar down here to rest the palm to get that song. How do you find that? Now, of course, a lot of people are, you know, that's where a lot of people have problems, you know. So watch this, watch this. I'm choosing one string, one, one string, and I'm going to play that one string. And I want you to listen to what happens when I move the hand. See, I'm all the way down here to the back. And I'm setting the palm like this. So it's going to, watch. See that? So it's so simple, you have to find the right spot here for you. So you're probably wondering what's going to happen if you're supposed to move it all the way down. The same rule applies, so you're gonna... And most of the time, you're not going to all the way down there, but it can be done. So it, it, it depends on the amount of pressure. So I cannot just go and tell you that, that this is where you put it. You have to feel it. You know, because if I go like this, remember. And that is how you get the sound for your stock line. You have to feel for it. Feel for it. Know exactly where to put on the palm. It's palm muting. In this case, don't worry too much about the amount of pressure you apply to the strings. All right? You can put a lot of pressure. Just know that you, it's been muted from down here. Down here. Right? See? I'm pressing very hard. And of course, you're going to have to press and release, you know. And that's basically how you, you know, get the stock line going how it is supposed to go. And remember, you're going to follow the bass line. So, dum, 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 d